Hello everyone and welcome to What a Brand. Today we are about to tell you a very interesting story about the brand FedEx. FedEx is the world's first overnight delivery company and it was founded by Fred Smith in the year 1971. In the first two years the company faced several financial difficulties and found itself on the verge of bankruptcy because of the rising fuel costs. FedEx had only $5,000 left in the bank account which was not enough to fuel the planes. So, Mr. Smith just impulsively hopped on a plane to Vegas on the weekend and played blackjack with the last of the company's money. AMD guess what? Amazingly, he returned the next week with $27,000 in winnings. Which was just enough for the company to stay in operations. So this is how FedEx was saved from bankruptcy and Mr. Fred Smith had one hell of a story to tell. Thank you for watching this video. It's Bata. Bata was established by Thomas, Anna and Antonin Bata, the 8th generation of the Bata family shoemakers, in the rural town of Zedlin, Czechoslovakia in the year 1894. Bata produced stitched, cos woolen footwear. Within a year, the business was good evo to enable the Batas to employ 10 people in their factory, and another 40 who worked out of their homes. In the year 1895, Antonin was drafted into the military and Anna quit the business to get married, forcing Thomas to take complete control of the went. Yo when he was just 19 years old. In the year 1897, with the first stream, driven shoemaking machines, Bata initiated a period of rapid modernization that allowed Bata to become one of Europe's first mass producers OS shoes. The company enjoyed producing light linen footwear that appealed to a large part of the population, who could not afford better, made leather shoes. However, Thomas Bata came close to bankruptcy on multiple occasions and concluded that in order for his business to survive he needed to find more efficient ways to manufacture and distribute shoes. In 1904, he and three employees took a trip to the United States to learn firsthand the ways of mass production. On his way back to Zedlin, he also took time to visit English and German factories. Once he returned home, Thomas Bata completely transformed his shoe business by applying the latest production techniques and earned himself the title of the Henry Ford of the shoe industry. Thank you for watching this video.